Hi, so a viewer made a suggestion that I should make a video on useful shortcuts in ARCHICAD, so this is gonna be it. Um, these are just shortcuts that I find myself using all the time, and that really increase my speed when working, working in ARCHICAD. So, the first one is CTRL plus A. So if we <coughs> have an area that we want to work with, let's say you want to select all of the lines in this area. You go here, you activate the line tool, and if you click Ctrl A, what you're gonna select is all of the lines in that particular area. If you don't have a marquee, then if you click Ctrl A, it's gonna select all of the lines in the project on a particular story, story that you're on. Same with fill. If you click Ctrl A, it's gonna select all of the fills. Okay, so another useful shortcut is shift and tab so let's say you have two or more different elements stacked on top of each other so here we have a zone a slab and a fill I'm gonna stack them and let's say you want to select one of them you hold down the shift key as we all know that's how you select something but the what you can select is the one that's on top so let's say you want to select the zone you can't if you hold down the tab button at once with the shift key if you want to select the uh, zone you have to keep clicking on the tab and then you can see now you're gonna select the zone and you can do whatever you want with it work in its properties or anything like that the next shortcuts has to do with uh, guidelines so if you're with the arrow tool on top of a element you can activate the guideline alongside that element by clicking on the uh, orange circle a quicker way to do that is to uh, click on Q while you're on top of it so you don't have to keep looking for the orange circle to activate it and in relation with that, you can either hide or show your guidelines by clicking on the L. So that's what that does. The next few shortcuts are going to be the ones that you will find if you select an element and you right click and move. So drag, rotate, mirror, elevate, drag a copy, rotate a copy, mirror a copy. So if you have something selected for moving it, you click Ctrl and D. If you want to move a copy, Ctrl, Shift, and D. If you want to rotate an, an element, Ctrl, E. And if you want to rotate a copy, Ctrl, Shift, and E. So that's how that works. Moving, uh, mirroring, I'm sorry. Ctrl, M. So you mirror it. If you want to mirror a copy, Ctrl, Shift, and M. These few ones are really simple to get used to and they are very very useful. They make your work in ARCHICAD way faster. Okay, so the next uh, useful shortcut is ALT and CTRL plus ALT. So ALT is the water dropper to tool, so you copy the, element, the properties of an element and for CTRL ALT you infuse it into, you inject it into another element. So I re I'm repeating it. Alt and click, you copy the properties of an element and you inject it in a different one. M is the measuring tool, so you click on M, quick way to measure an element, either length or if you do more points area, cumulative distance, angles and everything like that. Uh, double clicking is the fit to page button double clicking on the middle on the wheel on your mouse that's what that does it fits to page all of the elements in your project or in a particular story okay uh, then if you have uh, let's say multiple lines selected and you want to edit it so maybe you want to move this node or you want to offset it a quick way to navigate through the elements of this pet palette is to click on F. 
so now it's gonna offset it now it's gonna move it now it's gonna rotate it if you do a click mirror and once again moving the node so this applies for anything walls and anything if you have a bunch of them selected and you want to edit them moving quickly through the pet palette the F okay control find activates the find find and select window this is very useful let's say we have an area like this and we want to select all of the orange lines without having to individually go and select each and every one of them what you're gonna do is use the water dropper, dropper tool to copy the properties of an element here you can add characteristics criteria let's say of the element now it's gonna select all of the lines that are entirely within the marquee and the orange color if I hit on plus those are the ones that are selected okay uh, control L opens the layer settings I work with these a lot so opening it quickly is really useful okay and the next few ones are is gonna be shortcuts between the different views within your project so let's say we're we are in 3d view this is what's visible in this particular project in 3d view if I want to go to my plan view I'm gonna click F2 if I'm gonna go to the perspective view so all of the elements within the project I'm gonna hit F5 if I'm gonna go to the latest perspective view I'm gonna click F3 so let's say for once you only wanted to see one particular element in in your 3d view so you selected click F5 and you went back to your floor plan view if you want to go again to the same view but not selected and click F5 again you can just click F3 now you're taken back to the latest view of your 3d okay uh, F6 takes you to your section so let's generate the section because I don't think I have one within this project let's say here I'm opening it okay so if I click F2 I'm going to my floor plan view if I'm clicking F6 I'm gonna go to my section so this is a quick way to navigate through your different views so F6 for section and F7 for your layout so the, la the latest layout that you worked on is gonna be if you click on F7 okay Alt and G is a uh, is a shortcut related to grouping so uh, it's this button here basically suspending or unsuspending the groups you can see if I select this line all of the ones within the groups are, the group are selected so I it's difficult to edit them because if the groups are activated you cannot edit it if you suspend the groups so click on this button you only get to select one of them and you can edit them okay so a shortcut for suspending and unsuspending the groups is alt and alt plus G so now the groups are suspended if I click alt plus G the, the groups are unsuspended <coughs> okay this is useful to know about groups because for instance uh, scaling a group of elements you can't do it unless your groups are suspended so now if I select it I can see that the groups are not suspended I click alt plus G and now if I do control K I can scale everything so that's how you scale the shortcut control plus K control lets you cut elements you click down the control button and click you are gonna cut okay a shortcut that I use all the time is the shortcut for repeat so let's say you want to undo what you just did cutting a bunch of elements and then redo them control shift and Z is the redo shortcut okay and control plus G is if the if let's say you have two different groups so this one and this one if you want to group them together 
you hit Ctrl and G and everything is grouped. So these are the shortcuts that I find most useful and I think that if you dedicate a few days to force yourself to use them you're gonna really profit from it because it will really improve your speed in working in ARCHICAD. If you want to see all of the shortcuts that are active within your ARCHICAD program you can go to options, work environment and keyboard shortcuts. Then if you click here on short, show shortcut list in browser your browser will open up and you will have this list. Uh, when I first started working working in ARCHICAD I printed this one out and I put it next to my desk and I found it to be really useful when I was starting to learn all of the a bunch of these shortcuts. I don't use all of them because I don't find that I need to use all of them but maybe for your workflow it would be useful to just have this printed out next to your desk and it will really help you improve your speed in ARCHICAD. Okay, I hope this video helped you guys and if you have any requests or suggestions for videos please let me know. Okay, bye!